A Ukrainian soldier has been photographed with a Swedish AT-4 anti-tank missile system for the first time. It confirms that the lethal Swedish weapon has arrived on the Ukrainian battlefield. The photo has gone viral on social media platforms. The AT-4 is intended to give infantry units a means to destroy or disable armored vehicles and fortifications. As per reports, 5,000 will be delivered in total. It's pertinent to mention here that earlier, on February 28th, Sweden broke its policy of not sending arms to countries in active conflict and decided to send military equipment to Ukraine. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the inflow of Swedish AT-4 anti-tank system into Ukraine is bad news for Russia. Let's get started. The AT-4 is a Swedish 84mm, 3.31-inch, unguided, man-portable, single-shot, disposable, recoilless, smooth-bore, anti-tank weapon built by Saab Bofors Dynamics, previously Bofors Anti-Armor Systems. Saab has had considerable sales success with the AT-4, making it one of the most common light anti-tank weapons in the world. The name AT-4 is a wordplay on the 84mm caliber of the weapon, 84 being pronounced similarly to AT-4. The name also doubles as an alpha phonetic wordplay on the weapon's role due to AT being a common military abbreviation for anti-tank. The launcher and projectile are manufactured, pre-packaged, and issued as a single unit of ammunition, with the launcher discarded after a single use. The AT-4 is a development of the 74mm Pansar Scott M68 adopted by the Swedish Army in the late 1960s. Like the M68, the AT-4 was designed by Foranad Fabriksverken FFV, and manufactured at their facility in Zakrisdal, Karlstad, Sweden. FFV began research in a replacement for the M68 in 1976, deliberately designing an individual anti-armor weapon that would not be able to defeat the heavy armor protection of MBTs, main battle tanks, and frontal engagements, believing that to be counterproductive. The AT-4 was designed as a weapon to engage medium to light armored vehicles from any direction, MBTs from the sides or rear, and as an assault weapon against buildings and fortifications. FFV also had the design goal of a weapon that was simple to use, rugged and far more accurate than previous individual anti-armor weapons against moving targets. Another key requirement was that the AT-4 not only be able to penetrate armor, but also have a devastating beyond-armor effect after penetration. FFV and the Swedish Army began the first evaluation firings of the prototype AT-4s in the spring of 1981, with 100 tested by early 1982. The AT-4 may be considered a disposable, low-cost alternative to a Carl Gustav 8.4 cm recoilless rifle. The AT-4 took many of its design features from the Carl Gustav, which operates on the principle of a recoilless weapon, where the forward inertia of the projectile is balanced by the inertia of propellant gases ejecting from the rear of the barrel. But unlike the Carl Gustav, which uses a heavier and more expensive steel tube with rifling, the disposable AT-4 design greatly reduces manufacturing costs by using a reinforced smoothbore fiberglass outer tube. The disadvantages of the recoilless design is that it creates a large backblast area behind the weapon, which can cause severe burns and overpressure injuries to friendly personnel in the vicinity of the user, and sometimes even to the user themselves, especially in confined spaces. 
the backblast may also reveal the user's position to the enemy. The problem of backblast was solved with the AT-4CS confined space version, specially designed for urban warfare. There are several different projectiles for the AT-4. 1. Heat – High Explosive Anti-Tank The heat projectile can penetrate up to 450 mm inches of RHA, or rolled homogeneous armor with a beyond armor effect. 2. HEDP-502 – High Explosive Dual Purpose For use against bunkers, buildings, enemy personnel in the open, and light armor. The projectile can be set to detonate on impact or with a slightly delayed detonation. 3. HP – High Penetration Extra high penetration ability up to 500 mm to 600 mm (19.7 inches to 23.6 inches) of RHA. 4. AST – Anti-Structure Tandem Warheads this projectile combines a heat warhead with a shallow cone, which results in low penetration but produces a wide hole, with a follow-through high-blast warhead. It has two settings, one for destroying bunkers and one for mouse-holing a building wall for combat entry. 5. ER Extended Range It's the anti-armor version with heat warhead. 6. HE High Explosive Anti-personnel weapon that can be set for impact or airburst detonation. Depending on the warhead, AT-4 has an effective range of 500 meters to 2000 meters. Weapons are pouring into Ukraine from different countries. As per reports, the United States Canada and 19 European countries have so far responded to Ukrainian appeals for military equipment. Ukraine has received a significant number of Stinger, Javelin, Anlaws, and the Swedish AT-4 seems to be the latest addition. The AT-4 requires little training and is quite simple to use, making it suitable for this battle. According to many experts, it's clear that Russia's armor thrust is facing logistic problems and probably low crew morale. This is a perfect recipe for ambushes, especially keeping in view that Ukrainian forces are operating in their own land and know the terrain better than the Russians. If provided in quantity, as promised, AT-4 has the potential to inflict major losses to Russian armor forces. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.